Johnny True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today doing the uh, preview for three cards, three separate cards that are taking place by Friday. Um, they're going to take place by Friday, December 17th, all three of them. Um, one of them kicks off on Wednesday, and it's just going to be the main events that I talk about, guys. Nothing else is really significant from what I saw. Uh, but the main event on Wednesday on ESPN, and it's taking it's taking place in Japan. So that means to me that it's likely going to be um, early in the morning from Japan. But it sees the unified bantamweight champion of the world, the monster Naoya Inoue, as he returns to action, uh, putting his his two title and his undefeated record on the line when he takes on Iran Daipan. Daipan. Um, to, on paper, this looks like a stay busy fight right here for Inoue, uh, the monster, as he hopefully re is readying for a huge rematch with Nonito Donaire, uh, the WBC champion, who he beat a couple years ago by a, um, a, a close unanimous decision in the World Boxing Super Series Finals. Uh, now, uh, these two guys need to uh, come together at some point, but Inoue staying busy, taking on Daipan, who, you know, again, on paper, it looks like a stay-busy fight, and it might end up being that way. But Daipan's 12-2 and two with 11 knockouts, so the dude packs a punch, at least. We know that. So, should be uh, interesting, but if you guys want to see a very talented, very skilled, and one of the pound-for-pound -pound best fighters in the world, then make sure you're tuning in on Wednesday, December 14th, on ESPN as Inoue is there. I'm predicting Inoue to walk through Daipine and get a knockout victory and stay undefeated and keep his unified titles. But remember, Wednesday, December 14th on ESPN. Now, Friday has a couple solid cards coming at you, or solid main events. Um, this one on Friday is coming from Uzbekistan, so it's most likely going to be earlier in the day. It's the main event of a DAZN card and it sees Israel Madramov, an undefeated super welterweight contender at 154. He's 7-0 with five knockouts, but he's in the biggest fight of his career when he takes on former champion Michel Soro. Now, Soro um, was the WBA regular champion, and he lost that belt to Brian Castaño by split decision a few years ago. And that's uh, right before. That was uh, Castaño became champion. He ended up fighting Arizona Lara to that draw. Um, and, you know, Soro was, was in a mandatory rematch, and that never really came to fruition. So he's competing in this final eliminator to finally get a, a, another crack at the WBA title. So um, Madrimov fighting out of his home country of Uzbekistan against the uh, more polished and veteran Michel Soro. So this is going to be an interesting contest here. But Madrimov fighting in his backyard, I think he's going to get the win over Michel Soro. I wouldn't be surprised if he stopped him. Uh, Soro hasn't fought in over two years. So I'm, I'm picking Madrimov to win this fight uh, by stoppage in the middle rounds and push forward towards a world title shot. But you know what, Michel Soro, I wouldn't be surprised if he surprised us and went on, uh, in somebody else's country and scored the victory and put himself back in line for a, a world title shot. So that's on the zone on Friday, likely taking place earlier in the day, Madrimov versus Soro. And the winner puts himself in line for a possible world title shot at 154 pounds. But the big fight taking place on Friday is on ESPN, ESPN Plus. You're gonna see the unified light heavyweight championship of the world on the line from Canada when Arthur Betterbia puts his two belts on the line against his WBC mandatory number one contender and former interim champion Marcus Brown. This is a big matchup right here for, for Betterbia. Talent-wise, Marcus Brown is on the level. He's a very solid light heavyweight, and I think he's a very live underdog. But Betterbia is trying to keep himself in the Canelo sweepstakes, prove that he's a top dog at 175, and a win here will do that, and an impressive win will do that. Um, I personally think he's a clear-cut number one if he if he knocks out Marcus Brown and beats him. 
Um, and Marcus Brown could shoot himself straight up to the top of the division with an upset victory here over Better Bibbs. So um, it's a very, very good matchup. I really think it is one of the better matchups in the month of December. And I just think it's a uh, it's going to be a good, good fight. So um, I'm picking, though, in this one, I'm going to go with um, my winner of this fight. I'm probably going to go with, um, I mean, I am going with Arthur Better Bev. I think Better Bev is just too well-rounded uh, for Marcus Brown. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's very good at everything um, that he does, and he, but he, he cannot force himself in without boxing, without jabbing his way in. If he just puts his chin out there and forces his way in, Marcus Brown has the power and the skill to land something big and hurt him. And Marcus Brown is coming in, I think, very underrated by a lot of people because of that loss he suffered uh, two and a half years ago to Jean Pascal. Um, and I think that's a mistake. I think Marcus Brown is a very live, light heavyweight and live underdog heading into this fight. And I think he's going to be on his game, but I think Arthur Better Bio is just going to be too much. But I really wouldn't be surprised if Marcus Brown pulls out the upset here and becomes the new unified light heavyweight champion. So it's a very good matchup. People need to not overlook it. Friday, December 17th on ESPN. Arthur Better Bia versus Marcus Brown for the Unified Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. I hope you guys enjoyed this. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.